You can't do that. Slow down. Who do you think you are? You're never going to finish this. Those are all voices that are very common in people's heads when they're hitting a tough workout. And today I want to talk about your self-talk and is it helping you or is it harming you? When people first get started at Loco, we have a conversation around mindset and how the gym is the perfect place to train what's happening between your ears. Because what happens inside here when things get hard is exactly what is going to happen outside of these walls when things get hard. And the first thing that you do in the middle of a hard workout is think about shaving reps. I'm gonna do three less and no one's gonna notice because they're not paying attention to me. I promise the very first thing you're gonna do when you are outside of here, when a hard thing comes into your life is look for a shortcut. So what better place to train than a setting where it doesn't really matter in a workout as opposed to something having to do with your significant other or work or something that does have serious ramifications in your life. So if we can learn how to control that self-talk here, you better believe it's gonna carry to outside of the gym. So a couple of things, make sure that you are objective. So beating yourself up might certainly isn't serving you, but it might not even be warranted. Right, so make sure you've got maybe a video where you can review and look and see what was actually happening because the story we tell our heads is often very different from what's happening in the real world. Another really great tool is micro goal setting. So when you're in the middle of something that's really, really hard, instead of focusing on the end game goal, let's just focus on the next thing. Okay, just these next five reps or just this next paragraph instead of thinking about writing an entire book or finishing an entire workout. Using your breath to get yourself to calm down because it's very easy for that self-talk to start to snowball. And so if we can understand how to tap into our parasympathetic nervous system, get ourselves back under control, let those thoughts, feelings, and emotions wash over us so that we can talk to ourselves in a way that is serving us and is useful for everyone around us. So just be careful with that self-talk. Make sure that you talk to yourself just like you talk to your child or your best friend. I know I personally am way meaner to myself than I would be to anyone else. And it's just something to keep an eye out for because it's only hurting you. So check in with that self-talk. Let me know if we can help in any way.